Hi, Lisa. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be able to do this for you. I'm so excited about your question. Of all the readings I've done, um, yours is only the second one that had absolutely nothing to do with love and romance. With that being said, <coughs> please excuse me. With that being said, I did not pull any romance cards for you. We're going to use the Universal, um, the Golden Universal Tarot by Lo Sarbeto. It's beautiful. It's accurate. Other readings I've done for people have confirmed that. Any questionable cards that need clarifying, we're going to use the Mini Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. We have one card from Archangel Michael for you by Doreen Virtue. One card from Archangel Gabriel by Doreen Virtue. One card from Messages from Your Angels, Doreen Virtue. And from the Archangel Oracle cards, also by Doreen Virtue. Two of these wanted to come out for you so I kept them so I have already prayed over your cards exactly what your question was exactly the way you sent it to me and let me just say this you know for as much energy and prayer that I put into your into the card into, into the cards into the question if it's whatever spirit wants you to know if if, if if it's not meant for you to know and it, you know, comes up all cups and relationships, I mean, that's out of my control. I mean, it is what spirit wants you to know, okay? So, with that being said, we are going to do the Celtic Cross, the same ones that I've been doing in the private readings and in the monthlies. Okay, current position. The world, beautiful. Okay, I got the chills. Dream home. If you're looking for your dream home, wow, sweet. Okay, next card. It's either crossing you or helping you. Knight of Pentacles. Nice. Money would always be nice. So far, so good. Okay, next third card is your foundation. Whoa, six of swords. You're moving on. I want to see the chariot card with this. Okay, because your question moving, I have the chills, your question moving back to the country makes me think that you're like in, involved with immigration, you know, and this card it is about contracts too, All right, but we'll get to that. Okay, I have a habit of getting ahead of myself sometimes, I'm a little excited for you. You're definitely moving on, and you're definitely, the world card, I mean, is everything. But pertaining to your question, that's your dream home. Okay. Okay, fourth card. Past. Nice. Four of Wands. So, maybe you just got married, had a baby. It's the happy family. It's the marriage card. Happy family card. Okay, um, fifth card, present, lovers, well, that could be you make, you guys making choices, decisions, Okay, nice. Okay, sixth card is the future. Okay, Page of Swords. Seventh card, how you see yourself. Is the King of Cups. Seventh card. I'm sorry, that was the seventh card. Eighth card, environment and people around you, the Queen of Cups. Okay, that's a couple. King and a queen. 
cancer, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just looking as I'm like, hopes and fears. Wow, the chariot. Listen, you're definitely, you're definitely moving wherever you want to move to. And really, these two cards together totally relate to immigration and moving overseas. Victory. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Okay, and the outcome is the Nine of Swords. What? Well, I guess you would be worried, stress. I will say this. I really do. I see it and I feel it. And really, the only card I'm going to clarify is that card, your outcome card. Probably one of the easiest readings I've ever done. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just start right with the world, okay? We'll just go right through it, okay? Okay. I mean, so, the world. Typically an earth element. It is an earth element, but no specific earth element, okay? But it's completion, okay? It's completion, reward, joy, success. I mean... In, in reference to your question, I'm interpreting this as a dream home, as your dream home come true. Whether you've, you're, you're, you're working toward moving to your dream home. That, that's just how I see it. That's how I'm feeling it. And then you are helping you or cross or crossing you I don't feel like it's crossing you though Knight of Pentacles typically Leo and Virgo you know and it's improving prosperity um, I, I really do feel with this card that it shows financial growth good investments the card is of, con you know, concerning property. You're, you're, you and your partner are finding a secure home. I just don't think that this is somebody new coming into your life because I see you as a couple here. Definitely. King and the Queen, especially in the same suit, this is you and your husband or you and your fiance. I think you got married already. Okay, but in your foundation, you know, the heart of the matter is the Six of Swords. And, and that's a card of moving on. You know, definitely overseas. You know, it, it, is, it is a card of moving from, you know, rough water, waters into calmer, into smoother, you know, at a turbulent times, but... In reference to your question, especially with the chariot in this reading,
it's 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 a permanent move and it's a combination you know with the chariot I'm in I'm really I'm seeing that it, it is it's it's immigration or a long period of travel And I think it's a move, not, I think it's a move for your whole family. And it's a big move with a lot of decisions. Um, that card typically is um, air, sorry. But, um, typically Aquarius. Yeah, you're definitely, well. <sighs> Sorry, I just am so amazed sometimes. All the time, but I mean... I'm going to be honest, I was worried about your question. And it was just, I mean, not, you didn't even tell me where you're from, nothing, just, am I moving back to the country? Which is cool. And I can't, really, you are, you're definitely making a big move. This is Gemini and Cancer. Um, I'm sorry, no, it's not. This is Aries. I'm, I, I'm so fixated on the Queen of Cups and the, and the King of Cups here, too. Um, sorry. Okay, so this is in your past position. Aries. And it's a card of freedom, creativity, and domestic happiness. So... It's a beautiful card. It reveals success after completion. You know, with the world card here, too, in the present, you know, in the current position, yeah, I mean, I do feel like it is all going to just come together for you. I mean, you have the opportunity to really enjoy yourself. It's, it's, you know, it often could, show, you know, it shows up in readings too to say, you know, that a, a partner or, or, you know, a love interest will open up their hearts and express love and affection. It's the honeymoon card too. I just think you got married. I think you got married recently in the past. You, you already got married. Probably have children too, at least one. I do feel like you have a family. All right, which brings us to the lovers, which is Gemini. And that is in your future position. Your present position, I'm sorry. So, it is a card of, you know, again, if you are not living in your dream home, 
I, you know, with this card in, in, in your question, now is the time to work toward a, a property, a location that will support your dreams and desires. And under the world, with the six of, I, I, I just, really, Spirit, have I thanked you? I mean, it's all so positive. It's all so positive. Okay. In the future position that now we have the Page of Swords. And, again, I mean, you know, suit of air, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this card is a card of useful information. Um, you know, you're just, it's a card of contracts. You know, your hard work is about, is about to pay off with this card. You know, people around you are being helpful, furthering your ambitions. You know, definitely use, you know, your clear thinking. Stay observant. Pay attention to what other people say. Be ready to take action. But definitely, there, there's contracts coming your way. Whether it's immigration papers or... Information on this house or where you want to move to. Waiting on the location. That, that's going to happen for you. Like, I'm feeling that strongly. And I'm seeing it too. Wow. Okay. And this is in the future, so this, this... Look, all of this positivity, you know, I mean, every card here represents your question to a T. And with the chariot being a card of success, okay. Now you see yourself, I swear these cards felt the opposite way, but okay. King of Cups. Definitely the suit of water, but Libra and Scorpio. I mean, is this falling? This. And uh, under, you know, I had. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, I can't even speak. How you see yourself. is where this card falls. And this is what I'm going to say. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. But really, I just see you with your your partner. You, I mean, th these two t t together, especially in the same damn suit. Sorry. I mean, th these two are a couple, okay? Family. This shows me. Family. Family. You're moving. You're moving on. As a family. Together. Environment and people around you. Is the Queen of Cups. 
which is definitely you because this is um, Cancer and Gemini. But intuitive, loving, giving, you make the world a better place. That's how people see you as a woman, as a positive influence, sensitive, nurturing, compassionate, emotional, intelligent. Sensitive. You choose your friends carefully. But once you make that connection with your friends, you you treasure them. Like you are the ideal feminine partner for this man. And that's how people see you, as just like that. Then you have the chariot, and that's a card of just absolute, complete success. And again, that's, that's cancer. I mean, and it's, it's... <laughs> Car to travel. Good traveling, babe. It's travel away from home is the focus now. You know, even with, you know, the lover's card here and this being directly across... You know, it, this the chariot card does denote to a card of, you know, disagreements, arguments, but you know, especially with the ones you love, you know, within the family, don't um, that that that's done. That that that's gonna. That's going to phase out quickly. Of course, I mean, a big move like that to another country, no matter how much in love two people are, that's going to create some stress, conflict. But this card is really... And again, Major Arcana, would you have one... Three out of ten. But this is a card of success, victory, determination, but most importantly, a journey. A journey over seas. with your family. Okay, so, I mean, the outcome doesn't surprise me. You know, it is a, it is a card of, you know, worry. It is the Nine of Swords. But you're at a nine. I mean, I think you're just... Gemini, if I didn't say that, sorry. I mean, this is 3 a.m. worry. Like, you are... It's anxiety, it's stress, it's worry. You're, you know, you're up at all hours of the night, you're worrying, you're stressing. And I get it. We're going to clarify it anyway. I want to know anyway. I understand it and I get it, but 
just for the hell of it. Let's just see. The Nine of Swords Spirit for Lisa. Carrying this big ruler. Back to the country. Why is the Nine of Swords for Spirit? Okay. Well, I said that before. Uh, Aquarius. So, arguments, disputes, these are fighting. Okay. The Four of Cups. And let's just see what the next card is. Well, it does the Nine of Cups. That's your wish card, babe. With the World card, you're going to get your heart's desire. You really are. Um, def, yeah. I mean, really. These two cards together, clearly, look at these two together. That's beautiful. Okay? I mean, that's, that's... Achieving your heart's desire. You, you will achieve this. You know, and I, it does make sense, you know, even with the chariot underneath the Eight of Swords, you know, confu there's confusion, you know, maybe some self-doubt that this isn't going to happen. Just really let me look around here. Oh, come on, the Lovers and the Nine of Cups, you did just get married, that's sexual pleasures. <laughs> um, your reading is quite interesting. Um, I love it though. Jeez, how could I? I can't even believe. Look at, listen, these two cards together. The six of swords and the four of wands. Babe, this is excitement, and and celebration. These two cards together. Even though, you know, present, past, I don't care. They're in, they're... I didn't even ask spirit. I asked for now. I didn't even ask for the year for you. However, with that being said, I do feel like this is going to happen for you. I don't know what your time frame is, when you're hoping for this big move. I wish you had a timing card here. An ace would be nice. At the bottom, spirit. Oh, maybe it will be fast. Maybe it will be. Alright. I'll take that. That could be, this could be rapid. Wow. Yeah, I feel really positive about this for you. Like, for real. You know, maybe, you know, I mean, I'm not going to lie. You know, the Five of, of Swords, aside from the fact I don't really like that card. You know, it is a card of, of upheaval, um, conflict. Which makes sense, I mean... You know, with the Four of Cups, you know, you could be just feeling bored. Mm. 
like with withdrawn. But it really, babe, this is your wish card. Really, it, it it's all gonna work out. It really is. It really, really is, and I feel it. All right, let's see what your angel cards have to say. All right, we're gonna start with Archangel Michael. Believe and trust. <laughs> okay, beautiful card. His cards are powerful, babe, seriously. And really, to resolve this situation, you, you just have to really believe that everything is healed and whole right now. You know, the doorway to divine solutions will open. And your trust enables your mind, your body to relax. You know, and when you're relaxed, it increases your creative energy and strength. You know, two qualities that are especially helpful. You know, th the situation will absolutely have a happy outcome with this card. Definitely believe in yourself. You know, trust the person that you're with. Um, yes, very powerful. Very, very positive card. Helping children. Part of your life's purpose involves teaching and guiding and helping young people. I, I, I said that before. I think you probably are a mother. Um, you know, with this card, it's actually an answer to your question about your, your life purpose. Because it does involve children. You know, and your higher self connects with the purity of children. You know, you long to help them to be, you know, healthy and happy. You know, and in doing so, you're also, you know, nurture your own inner child. And I think really this is, you know, including you. Taking care of your own little ones in your own family. You know, or I don't know, maybe you're, you want to find a career, a new career path in a new job and it involves helping children. It's possible. Um, Merlina from the Angels. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information to research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Exactly what I said with this card. Makes perfect sense. Both of these cards. Clear thinking. Clear thinking. Definitely get out of this. Okay. And you, you will. You will. But the sooner you do, if you're still in that state, the sooner things are going to manifest for you, okay? I mean, with this card, you know, you're, you're chasing your tail. You're looking at, at this, this option, that option. You know, your probably indecisiveness is exhausting you. And it's because, you know, you, you do not have all of the information yet to make an informed decision. Your, your decision, it, it, it'll, it's all going to become clearer soon. It really is. Whatever this is, I feel like you're probably waiting on paperwork. Or, yeah, I really do. Let me just, I need a drink. I'm so sorry. I've been talking all day. Okay. 
manage your angel. Archangel cards. Okay. Career. Career transition. Wow. And courage. So the career transition, your life's purpose is, tri is triggering a blessed career change. So that makes, that could make sense. I mean, you have to let me know about that. This, this does fit. Or you're just really looking to, you, you know, or could just be both that you, you know, you do have children, you are a good mother, but you are looking for a career transition. And that card is definitely all about making way for the new. There's definitely new on the horizon for you. And I feel in both, like, like this move and this career transition, that's twice with that. But, you know, you probably right now are sad, confused, you're anxious. And Archangel Ariel, you know, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Which means, like, don't let other people tell you what to do. Take a stand, you know. You have to do what makes you happy. You have, you have beautiful energy here. Beautiful energy. I mean, every card is just beautiful. Right down to the Knight of Cups. I mean, that's your wish card. Like, whatever your wish is. I, I just hope... I just hope that it's sooner for you than later. I mean, right here does, is immediate. Right here is, is really right now. This is later out in, in the future. But, you know, all this right here definitely tells me you are definitely moving. And with the chariot, I mean, really, I, I feel it too. Yeah. You're moving back to the country. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pausing because I'm just trying to find or feel a time frame for you, and I'm not. major arcana the devil but that's enslavement and entrapment and don't even take it to heart I was just hoping for an ace but maybe you know maybe 15 days oh well next card would have been the wheel of the wheel of fortune But 
it's gonna happen. That's the most important thing. It is definitely going to happen for you, and that's awesome. I'm so I'm just how spirit answered this question is amazing. Okay. Please let me know how this all turns out for you. Um, I think it looks beautiful. I really do. This was really a lot of fun. Yeah, that's all I got for you. Okay, I hope to talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.